This week on Scam School, we give you amazing Rain Man math abilities! This episode of Scam School brought to you by Click It or Ticket and Mog, the best web and mobile music service, period. Welcome to the show that always has a designated driver, Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the streets. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and this week we are back with another miracle from the genius mind of my buddy, MIT Rob. Now, this one will take a little bit of work, but once you get it down, you can look like a complete badass anytime, anywhere. All you need is a pack of cards. What is going on, Alex? Good to see you again. AK, good to finally get to meet you. Here's the thing. A few weeks ago, I was hanging out in San Diego with my buddy MIT Rob, who is no lie a freaking genius, who comes up with these brilliant tricks. He showed me something that blew my mind, totally fooled me, and it turns out it's simple enough that any of us, even us brain-dead monkeys here at Scam School, can learn how to do it. It blew me away. Now, I'm gonna do the easier version because, and you'll understand why when we get to the actual trick, I'm gonna take out the face cards here because face cards make everything a little bit nutty. We're gonna do just the number cards for this trick. Do me a favor, Alex, shuffle up those cards. Yeah. So you have, and for the purposes, if you think in terms of numbers, we'll have the ace be a one. So we only have the numbers one through 10 throughout that entire deck, right? Let me know when you think they're totally shuffled up to your satisfaction. You got it? All right, yeah, hold on to the deck. And I just want you to deal out one card to me, one card to you. Don't look at each, either one though. All right, and then set the rest right here. Now here's the thing. We're not gonna turn these over. Not yet anyway. So neither of us know what either of our cards are. What we can do is we can look at all the other cards. Now theoretically, if we had crazy like Rain Man powers, we could look at all the cards here and deduce which two we're missing and know our actual cards, right? But instead, we're gonna rely on intuition. It could be that just by getting a glance over all of them at some level in our subconscious, you know, the 5% of our brain that we never use, could be able to identify the right card. So I'm gonna pass through the cards as they go in front of your eyes, just sort of take the information in like a river, right? And at the end, we'll see if you have an impression of what cards you guys think are missing, all right? So we'll just start with our, like this. Make sense? Yep. We'll start with uh, start with Alex. Oh, okay. if you were gonna guess, what would you what would, what impression would you have would be my card? Your card. I think one of them is a seven. Yeah. And for the other one, four. All right. Well, we'll see if you're right. But keep in mind, in order to get it right, you have to get the suit and the number on there, right? So I'm gonna give you a second chance here. We're gonna let AK. I just want you to kind of let your brain fizzle out here and just kind of take a look at the cards and see if anything pops out at you. Come on, just say whatever pops in your mind first. Seven. Seven of? Eight. The right. seven of eights? Yeah. The, no, the seven of what, spades or yeah, what? Spades, oh, yeah, spades, seven of spades. spades. No, it wasn't a spade, but it was a four of spades. But what's amazing is purely through the process of elimination, I know that your card is the six of hearts. I got a four though. You did, you guessed four, but you also guessed seven, and you didn't get the suit. So Not tell me, close. how would you like the skill to be able to do that though, right there, sir? Yeah, <laughs> I'd like it a lot. It's like you're genuinely dumbstruck, because I'm telling you, you don't have to have crazy math skills. You don't have to be a Rain Man in order to pull this off. It's just brilliantly crafted, and we're gonna find out the solution, but first we gotta thank our sponsors. Pretend to toast me. There you go, ding, 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 ding. Guys, it's a fact. Men your age are less likely to buckle up, and it's because you're dumb. Nearly 75% of male passengers 18 to 34 killed in passenger vehicles were not wearing their seatbelts. What else are you gonna do? You gonna ride a roller coaster and be like, oh no, no, I don't need the lap bar. You gonna get in a space shuttle and be like, eh, eh, no, don't worry about it. I'm fine, really. You gonna drive your NASCAR? Those geniuses, they know what they're doing. They buckle up, and so should you, especially at night. Two thirds of people who die in accidents at night, not buckled up. Look, you may be a safe driver, but then there's crazies and drunkos and drunko crazy people all at the same time. Look, the police are gonna be out in force leading up to Memorial Weekend. We're talking hundreds of state and local law enforcement officials. They're gonna be handing out tickets leading up from May 16th through the 30th. They're gonna be looking for you. They're like, they're like, it's a it's a dumb people tax. If you're too dumb to wear a seatbelt, guess what? You're gonna be giving up a ticket. Look, just do yourself a favor, man. Save your own life, save some bucks. Click it or ticket. It's that simple. 
All right, seriously, on a scale of one to brain explosion, how good, how amazed are you? That was pretty damn amazing. I already did it. Uh, okay, well, I like I like not knowing how I did it, and I like hearing that it's pretty good. So we're gonna combine it. Now, here's the thing. You were relying on all that BS I was spinning about intuition and tapping into your 5%. That's all horse crap, right? The fact is, is there's a very simple way to know for absolute fact exactly what their card is. And it just takes a little bit of grade school arithmetic. Now, in this case, you got lucky, partly because you just went with numbers and partly because you picked two numbers out of the 13. So you did get the number right, but to, if anything, that actually makes it more believable that I'm tapping into this Rain Man ability to decide your card, right? Yeah. It turns out everything I've said is a complete and utter lie, <laughs> except for the fact where I said I'm taking out the face cards. That part was the truth. And the reason is, is if you take the values of all these numbers, one through 10, and add them together, you will end up with 220. So theoretically, if I had one card here, one card here, and I went through and I was a crazy math whiz, I could add all these numbers up and get a number when I got to the end and know just how far from 220 I was, and that would be the total of these two, right? Turns out you don't even have to do that. Let's say you totally disregard the tens digit and you add them up as you go along. So for example, this first card here is a seven, and then a nine, so we'd be at 16, right? So if we were adding them up. Drop the tens digit, so we're only doing six. Plus six would be? Two. Six. Clicking, yeah. yeah, two, so you do two. That's right, because again, we're just gonna keep dropping the tens digit. Plus seven would be? Nine. nine. That's right. Plus five would be? One. Four. Four, that's right, that's right. Plus five would be? Nine. nine. That's right, plus seven would be? Six. Plus four? Zero. With zero or a 10, right? What okay. I do is I say the word even. Another thing I do is you'll notice I spread the cards out a couple of times. So instead of having to add five and then six and then four and then three, I might notice that four plus six is automatically 10. So I'll cancel those out and I'll just think five, five, eight, like that. And if, same thing for a nine. Nine plus five, you have to think 14 and then drop the one. Whenever I see a nine, I just think take away one. So let me show you what it would look like if we went at speed through them all, right? So two plus eight would be one, seven, five, seven, eight, five, nine, one, even, five, three, six, uh, six, nine, five, nine, four, eight, five, four, nine, four, one, nine, five, one, even, eight, nine, three, six, five, seven. So the running counts at seven yeah. at this point, right? Now, and to look in advance, you can see that seven plus two, which means they're, they're, we're only one away from even, which means this would be ace, right? But the problem is, I don't know what either of our cards are. I just got to the end and I know the running count is seven. So that's when I ask you guys to take a guess as to what my card is. I say, take a guess at my card. I'm not even listening to whatever it is you say. I'm thinking seven, 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 seven. The running count is seven. So let's say you pick whatever, what card do you think I have underneath here, AK? Uh, four spades. Four spades. So I'm still thinking running count is seven, running count is seven. I flip this card up and I look, I don't show you, but I see that it's a two. So I add it to my running count of seven. And so now I know the running count is nine and that we're only one away from being even. So now I just, I look and I say, oh no, you didn't quite get it but now I know that your card has to be an ace, but I don't know which ace it is. So that's why I let, whenever there's two people there, I let one of them guess and fail. And then I say, here, you give it a try, and I spread the cards here. So when I'm spreading the cards, I know it's an ace, I don't know which one, so at, I even gesture as I'm running through. I say, just look through the cards, and as I'm doing that, I'm looking ace, 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 there's an ace. There's another ace, so now I know both of the black aces are there. So I keep on going duh, 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 until I see the ace of diamonds. And by process of elimination, we know it's an ace and we know it has to be the ace of hearts, but I still don't say anything. Instead, I allow the second guy to take a guess. What do you think the card is? Suit and value. Eight of clubs. Eight of clubs, oh no, it's not. Now I show that both of you guys were wrong. 
And even though we went in two phases, you you know, you as a collective group were wrong. I say, but I know your card has to be the Ace of Hearts, and there it is. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, now you got the fundamentals, but do you think, however slowly you want to take it, that you guys can run through it after the sponsors? I think so. Well then toast me with I your can. imaginary beverages that you don't even have. All right, guys, now it's time for me to tell you about my new BFFs in all of music, talking about my friends over at Mog. Mog's an award-winning, all-you-can-eat music service that lets you stream unlimited music on the web, on your iPhone, on your Android, on your iPod Touch, on your iPad, to your desktop computer, it doesn't matter. These guys want you to have whatever music you want on whatever platform you want and as much of it as you want. You get unlimited access to over 10 million songs right at your fingertips. Unlimited downloads to your phone, easy way to find and discover new music. You got a custom radio function and unlike Pandora, you're not automatically set up to where you have to listen to other artists. You can select artist only or you can select similar artists. And there's a slider bar that you get to decide how much you want to mix it up. You're free from ads. You don't have to pay any per track fees. You don't have to sync. You don't have to worry about file storage or management. You don't have subpar audio and all the other crappy things that go along with those inferior other services. We're talking about CD quality radio, easy playlist creation. And you know what? Mog won best mobile music app and like 18,000 other awards from the likes of USA Today, Time, TechCrunch, CNET, and more. Head on over to mog.com slash scam school. Sign up for the free two-week trial. Just try it for yourself. You're going to fall in love with it just like I did. In fact, check out my personal playlist. Brian Brushwood is made of these songs. Everything from my high school up through now, I'm built of this music. It's in my DNA. Seriously, get on over to mog.com slash scam school. Join the club, man. All right, now remember, you two are going to act as teammates to make sure that you keep each other right on the map and I will play both of the people that you're doing the scam for. All right, okay. Do you want to go for it? Um, sure, I'll shuffle. Yeah. Then you go. Wait, did I take out the face cards? Oh, yeah. Perfect. All right, so you took out the face cards. Now what, gentlemen? Because you probably don't trust us. You probably want me to shuffle the cards. Exactly. I figured that was coming. I'll yeah, shuffle yeah. up the cards. Nice, All right, they are super awesomely shuffled now. No human could possibly know the order. So you're gonna okay. you're gonna go through one at a time. We're gonna go, go through the cards. Gotcha. And. Try and use your third eye there. Okay. All right. Look through the cards into them. Done and done. You want to take a guess? Through that, do you think you can take a guess? So <laughs> I'll say you got the seven of spades. Seven of spades? Do you think so? Yeah. Do you think so? Yeah. I'm sorry. Hmm. All right. That's rough. You know, you only had one look at the cards, and no one can do that. Right. 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 Maybe. Maybe. I mean, I'd love a second chance to look at the cards. Exactly. That's all I'm going to say. We're going to spread out the cards. That's good. I, I don't know. I'm getting closer to something. You think so? Yeah. Well, time's uh, up. I'm going to say, okay. say three of diamonds. Three of diamonds. Is it the three of diamonds? Tell, show me. It's the three of diamonds, isn't it? No. Dang it. Sorry. All right. Well, I, I'm not very good at this trick. Okay. But I'll bet you're no better. You think so? No, I don't think you're really? any better. You don't think I can guess I that? don't think you can guess this card. You don't card. think I can guess that card? I, I bet my life If you on can, it. I will so buy both of you drinks. Okay, you better, because that is the Ten of Diamonds. Oh! Well yeah. done, gentlemen! Dude, double high fives for both of you. Congratulations. That was amazing. This is a really complicated idea. Even though it's got three basic steps, you guys nailed all three. I could not be more proud. Congratulations, gentlemen. Beers all around. Now, I know it feels like we hit you with a lot on this episode, but trust me, there's really only three steps, and the arithmetic is nothing but third grade math. Give yourself a chance to try it out. Take your time with it. Make three days of practice and you will have this thing down, I promise. It is a badass effect that you will have for the rest of your life. Put some time into it. Second of all, I want to thank the wizard who brought this to my attention, MIT Rob. Head on over to his website, drop him an email and say thank you for all the badass tricks he keeps creating for Scam School. Now I want to hear about your success stories and failure stories, so hit us up at the boards at scamschool.tv where you can see all of the episodes of Scam School right back to episode one. That's like 170 now. And if you want to ask questions, hit me up over Twitter. I answer all of my Twitter at replies at twitter.com slash or you can follow the show at twitter.com slash scam.
Scam School. If you want to suggest your favorite bar scam, hit me up directly at brian at revision3.com. And don't forget to join us next week because we're, we're, we're going to... They, they found me. I don't know how, but they found me. Run for it, Marty!